I hate this. I'm already depressed, but this just made it so fucking worse. I, I don't want to talk about it, but I feel like I have to. I'm still trying to process everything, and I'm trying to be as calm and as professional as I can be. So, I heard of this news an hour while I was editing for the Luxim video that I was promising. And, well, this week has been going well for me. My channel just exploded out of nowhere, and things just went smoothly for me. And then this fucking announcement happened out of nowhere. Fuck, man. So, you all know what happened. Let's just review the... The thing, the post that cover pulled up. The post basically says that Russia is going to be terminated. No, not graduated like Karyokoko or Hololive China or or even Mano Aloe. This ch- she, Russia, will be terminated. Like her content wiped clean from the face of this fucking earth kind of terminated. Without even a last graduation stream. Her name will probably go taboo. I can already picture a lot of Hololive members contemplating to leave too. And I guarantee that. A lot of Hololive fans will probably quit on Hololive too. Especially since this is Russia we are talking about. The second highest earning VTuber Hololive ever has. Covercorp just seems to be cursed in the terms that their highest income earners eventually get fucked in the ass. But the thing that's different now is that Covercorp is treating Russia harshly. Very harshly even. After they made a post supporting Russia, a few days later they pull a 360 and outright terminate her. Which is the reason why so many people are angry with Covercorp right now. But we have to calm down here. I have reason to believe that Covercorp initially did support Russia. But after further investigation, they then explained that Russia broke several NDAs and leaked confidential information and falsehoods to other parties. Which I honestly saw Russia doing. Russia was always something of a reckless girl herself. Any true fan dead knows this, but I didn't anticipate that it would be to the extent that Cover would fire her on the spot because of it. So, what is this confidential information that Russia apparently leaked? Nobody fucking knows, okay? Many point their fingers to Korekore, who tried to defend Russia by confirming that she and Mafu Mafu wasn't in a relationship. However, this is certainly not the case. Look at the video. There is literally nothing that Korekore says that hints at something that's supposed to be confidential. People have been tossing this around, but this isn't it, chief. No, whatever it is that Russia probably did, it has to be massive. Covercorp wouldn't do something like this for a nothing burger leak, even if it's her name drop or her address or whatever. Kore Kore fucked up here by the way. I don't condone the harassments that's going to his way because he only did what he did because Russia was his friend. With good and he dropped that video with good intentions. In fact, Kore Kore is not the reason why Cover terminated Russia, like at all. However, I have reasons to believe that it might be what caused Cover to investigate what else Russia told other people behind their backs. Russia fucked up too, because in her emotional outburst, she may have done everything she can to prove that she isn't what these gachikois turned aunties believed she is. Perhaps in her current emotional instability, she did a lot of damage, did a lot of things she was not supposed to do. I understand everyone is angry and that people hate Cover Corp right now. And look, I don't mean to suck a corporation's dick. But if there is something that we can trust from Cover Corp, it's that Yago and Russia's managers are kind people. Again, they wouldn't do this for a nothing burger incident. The last time they did this, that person was Hitome Chris. And we all know what the fuck Hitome Chris did. If Russia's mistakes aren't as severe as people think it is, they would have just graduated her. And if she never did anything at all other than that leaked Discord message, Cover Corp would actually just support her. Like what Cover said, they supported Russia 100% back when that incident first came. That wasn't fake. That wasn't false hope. It was genuine. I promise you, this announcement hurt them more than us. Nobody has any idea about this confidential information that Russia apparently leaked because like the term suggests, it's fucking confidential. All we can do is wait. However, at this point, I don't think that Cover's words are the only things that we should look out for. People will try to find what leaks Cover was talking about in that announcement. Remember everyone, in the Coco graduation video, I talked about how Cover Corp initially supported the Hololive China girls, but then they turned their backs on them once they discovered that the Hololive China girls did something heinous. People hated Cover for that back then. But when we discovered Hololive China's actions, we understood Cover and even supported their decision. I believe that in some way, this situation may be like that too. 
I dread to think about what Russia has actually done. In fact, I can't even wrap my head around what Russia potentially could have done. Or even if she has done anything at all. And look, we know this is hard. This is very hard. Russia, or the woman behind her, is already deleting and privating her author accounts and channels. It's going to be hard to delve for information about this issue and believe me, I tried. I couldn't find anything substantial. I'm sure leakers that are more persistent than I am will eventually find something, but I'm just making this video because everyone needs to stay composed here. We have to wait for evidences that will surface because cover has a lot of antis and they will spread misinformation like what they did back then. So be on guard and don't believe anything you see immediately. What does this mean for Russia and Cover Corp? Well, for Cover Corp, they yet again lost their biggest cash cow and they tanked a lot of reputational damage. Looking at that announcement post, you can see that it's full of vitriol. A lot of people are going to give up on Covercorp and Hololife, especially those whose hearts belong to Russia. Covercorp will probably weather this storm, but they're not going to be the same for a lot of people. Cover's been taking L's lately, and I'm scared what will happen to them if these kinds of incidents keep coming up. But how about Russia? Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe she'll stop being on the internet, she's already a millionaire, but you have to remember that she loved streaming. She loved playing a character. She loved being with her fans. So maybe a couple months from now, expect Niji Sanji or any of Cover Corp's competitors to grab a hold of her. Or maybe even an upcoming indie VTuber who sounds familiar. Still though, if these allegations are as bad as Cover portrays them, then it may be a long time before Russia comes back to the internet. Again, you don't have to believe Cover's words, but you just have to believe that what they did here they probably did it because they think it's the right decision for their company and their talents as a whole. Please everyone, stay composed. Take every information you get with a grain of salt. Let's just wait. We've been through this before. It doesn't hurt any less, but if we made it through Coco's graduation, although this is worse, we can go through this one too. That's all everyone. Please, stay composed.